The V-Fly Whoop Store is the best 1S Tiny Whoop battery charger in existence today. But this isn't a review of the V-Fly Whoop Store V2. No. This is a review of the V-Fly Whoop Store V3, which takes everything great about the V-Fly Whoop Store V2 and then fixes the one or two little things that were annoying about it. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. For those of you who already have the V-Fly Whoop Store V2 and know how freaking great it is, I want to start the video with just a quick overview of the things that changed in the V-Fly Whoop Store V3. The V2 was basically some circuit boards in plastic kind of bolted together. The V3 comes in a nice plastic case. The V2 had a maximum voltage input on its XT60 of 5S, although people did use 6S batteries and got away with it. It wasn't officially rated for that. The V3 is officially rated for up to 6S voltage. And the V2 would charge batteries at up to 0.9 amps each, while the V3 will go up to 1.3 amps. And the V3 has a nice OLED screen, whereas the V2 had just a little black and white screen. So that's what's improved about the V3. And if you already love the V2 and are in the market for a replacement, the V3 is a no-brainer because I don't even think it got that much more expensive, if at all. It's just everything great about the V2, but more. So what's so great about this charger? Why do I think this is hands down the best charger you can get for 1S batteries? That's what the rest of the video is going to be about. Well, would you like to do it with something like this? Uh, setting aside how freaking silly it feels to take a teeny little teeny little battery and try to plug it into this great big honking charger. The plugs don't line up. Yeah, you could use an adapter, but it's only two channels. It's only two channels, and I got a lot of batteries to charge. So the big chargers just aren't ideal. Even if you're working with something like this Flying Sandal series board, or this Weebleed FPV series board, or there's another one made by Fractal Engineering, there's, there's various choices for how to solve this problem, but great big honking chargers just aren't ideal for tiny whoops. Look at this. This is my Tiny Whoop kit. When I go to like fly Tiny Whoops, this is pretty much what I bring with me. Except it's also got my charger in here. And do you see, this is everything I need for a night of Tiny Whoop flying. Well, not my goggles and my controller, you know what I mean. Uh, but I got a big battery here. I got a uh, uh, lithium-ion power bank with a USB output. It plugs into the charger here. I got a big bunch of batteries. I got my Tiny Whoops. I got some extra props. This is everything I need. And I just go like that, zip it up, chuck it in a backpack, and I'm good to go. And that, in my opinion, is the main reason why great big honking chargers like this aren't ideal for tiny whoops and micros. They just don't fit that mm, small, light, micro lifestyle. A tiny whoop charger needs to be small and light, and it needs to have a lot of channels. Typical tiny whoop chargers do at least four batteries at a time. This one does as many as six. Don't let the fact that there are 12 total plugs fool you, the PH 2.0 and BT 2.0 plugs are in parallel with each other. Don't plug in a PH and a BT battery at the same time that they will fight each other. Um, I mean, technically, if they were the same voltage, you could get away with it and just 12, charge 12 at a time. Don't do that. Don't do that. You got six channels here. You can charge up to six batteries at once, and you can plug those batteries in however you want, regardless of their state of charge. They're fully independent charging channels. The Whoop Store can be powered from an XT60, so if you've got any 6S flight packs, that'll work. It can be powered from a DC barrel plug up to 26 volts. If you've got a DC power supply, that'll work. Or it can be powered from USB-C. The USB-C input requires a minimum of 40 watts of power from the charger, so some older phone chargers aren't going to output enough power to, 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 to make it work. In order to use the charger, first we are going to select the voltage that we want to charge to by pressing the voltage set button. And notice that our voltage choices are 4.2 volts, 4.35 volts for high volt batteries, which most tiny whip batteries are going to be high volt, or we can go to 3.8 or 3.85 volts. And that's another thing that stands out about the whoop store. It is 
the only Tiny Whoop charger that I know of that can put the batteries into storage mode. All the other chargers, they'll fully charge the batteries, but then at the end of the day of flying, when you've got a bunch of fully charged batteries just sitting there, that's you know, you're taking them home, they're gonna stay fully charged, and they're gonna take damage because you gotta put the batteries down to storage voltage for maximum longevity. But Tiny Whoop chargers don't put them down to storage voltage. So everybody just leaves their Tiny Whoop batteries charged all the time, and then their Tiny Whoop batteries wear out and suck, and it especially sucks if you bought these expensive, like these expensive folded cell batteries that are like five, six dollars a piece. You gotta put them to storage voltage, and the Whoop Store charger is the only one I know of that does it. So at the end of the day, we can just set this to 3.8 volts. 3.85 is for high volt batteries, but. I put them all to 3.8. I'm not convinced that's a real thing. So we put it down to 3.8 volts and then we just hold down the start stop button and it begins charging. Oh, you know, for storage, I think we probably don't need 1.3 amps. So here's our current. We can choose how much current uh, we're gonna use. Uh, just the faster you wanna charge, the higher the current or the bigger the battery, the higher the current. We'll just do it slowly here and start and we will begin storage charging these batteries. Now, once I have started, I can just plug in. So, like watch channel number two here. It's not doing anything. As soon as I plug in, it reads the voltage and it begins. So basically, I can just plug and unplug these batteries and as soon as I plug them in, the charger will start doing its thing. Mm, freaking love it. I love it. It's so easy. It's so easy. Boom, it's just doing it, just putting them all to 3.8 volts. Wanna charge them? Boom, plug them in, charge them. This is the best, it's the best. And here's the kicker. You can get a cheap little USB powered four channel that doesn't do storage charging for 15 bucks. This is like 30 bucks. It's like twice as expensive as a charger that is one tenth the capabilities. What more, I don't know, what more do you want? What more do you want? Um. I don't know. Links are in the video description. Go buy it. Just go buy it. <laughs> go go use the links in the video description. They're affiliate links. That's it. Uh, what next? Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. One of the most fun I've ever had with Tiny Whoops has been a race that I went to here in Knoxville. It was a little while back, it was super fun, and I made a little vlog about it, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. If you're not familiar with Tiny Whoop Racing, go check it out. You're familiar with Tiny Whoop Racing, what am I talking about? Go check it out, it really gives a sense of why these teeny tiny quads are so freaking fun. Card on screen, link down below. I'll see you there.